Hi. In the last session, we discuss about the symbol group. In this session, we prove that A5 is a symbol group. Now, we just we recall what a symbol group is. A symbol group is a group which does not have any proper normal subgroup. That means that the only normal subgroups of the symbol group G are the trivial subgroup and the group itself. So here we need to show that A5 is a symbol group. That means we need to show that A5 does not have any proper normal subgroup. Now what is A5? A5 is the alternating group consisting of all even permutations on five symbols, which is a subgroup of S5, where S5 is what? Is the set of all permutations on five symbols. And now you know that the order of S5 is 5 factorial, which is same as 120, out of which half of them are even permutations that means A5 contains half of 120 elements, that means 60 elements. And therefore, A5 is a group of order 60. And we show that A5 is a symbol group, that means you want to show that A5 does not have any proper normal subgroup. So let us take H is a normal subgroup of A5. To show A5 is a symbol, we need to show that H is not a proper normal subgroup of F5. In that case, we need to show that H is equal to identity or trivial subgroup or H is equal to F5. So, let H be a normal subgroup of F5. If H is a trivial subgroup of F5, that means which contains only the identity permutation, then we are done. So, we may assume that H is not equal to the trivial subgroup. That means, H contains non-trivial nor non-identity element. So we first show that H contains a 3 cycle. At least one 3 cycle is there in H that we show. So let sigma be an element of H and sigma is non-identity element. It's not that any cycles of A5 are of the form, it can be a 1 cycle or it can be a 3 cycle or it can be a 5 cycle or it can be a 2 by 2 cycle or 2 to cycle. So since sigma belongs to H and H is a subset of A5, sigma is also one of these four types. But we assume that sigma is non-identity. Therefore, sigma can be a 3 cycle or sigma can be a 5 cycle or sigma can be a 2 2 cycle. So, if sigma is a 3 cycle, that means sigma is of the form i1, i2, i3, then because sigma is an H, H contains a 3 cycle. So, suppose we assume that a sigma is a 5 cycle, that means sigma is of the form i1, i2, i3, i5. So in this case, you choose a 3 cycle alpha, which is same as i1, i3, i2. And you know that any 3 cycle is an even permutation, so it belongs to A5. That means alpha is an element of A5. So since sigma is in H and alpha is in A5 and H is a normal subgroup of A5, alpha, sigma, alpha inverse definitely is in H. And therefore, alpha sigma alpha inverse into sigma inverse also belongs to H because sigma inverse is an element of H. Therefore, this is in H. That means alpha sigma alpha inverse is in H and a sigma inverse is in H and H is a subgroup. Their product is also belongs to H. Now, what is alpha sigma alpha inverse sigma inverse? Which is same as alpha is I1, I3, I2. Sigma is I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. Alpha inverse is I1, I3, I2 inverse. Sigma inverse is I1, I2, I3, I4, I5 inverse. But what is the inverse of I1, I3, I2? It is same as I2, I3, I1. And the inverse of I1, I2, I3, I4, I5 is 
i5, i4, i3, i2, i1. So now let us check what this product is. Now here in a, this permutation in cycle, i1 goes to i5, and here i5 goes to i5, and here i5 goes to i1, and here i1 goes to i3. Therefore, i1 is going to i3. What about i3? i3 goes to i2, and i2 goes to i3 here i3 goes to i4 here and i4 goes to i4 here therefore i3 goes to i4 now where does this i4 goes to i4 goes to i3 i3 goes to i1 i1 goes to i2 and i2 goes to i1 therefore i4 goes to i1 the missing symbols here is i2 where does this i2 goes to i2 goes to i1 i1 goes to i2 i2 goes to i3 and i3 goes to i2 that means i2 goes to i2 and what about i5? i5 goes to i4, i4 goes to i4, i4 goes to i5, and i5 goes to i5. That means i5 goes to i5. Therefore, alpha sigma, alpha inverse sigma inverse is equal to i1, i3, i4, which is a 3 cycle. And you know that alpha sigma, alpha inverse, sigma inverse belongs to H. Therefore, i1, i3, i4 is in H. Therefore, H contains a 3 cycle. That means if sigma is of phi cycle or sigma is of the form i1, i2, i3, i4, i5, then we can construct an a3 cycle which is it h. Now we will see what happened if sigma is a 2, 2 cycle form. Suppose sigma is of the form a 2, 2 cycle which is of the form i1, i2 into i3, i4. This is a product of two transpositions. In this case, choose beta is a product of two transposition namely i1 i2 into i3 i5 which is a product of two transpositions so it is uneven permutations therefore it belongs to a5 now sigma is an h beta is an a5 and h is normal in a5 beta sigma beta inverse definitely in h and therefore beta sigma beta inverse into sigma inverse also belongs to h because sigma inverse is an element of h and beta sigma beta inverse is also an element of h therefore this order thing is belongs to h that means beta sigma beta inverse sigma inverse is an h but beta sigma beta inverse sigma inverse is same as beta is i1 i2 i3 i5 sigma is i1 i2 i3 i4 beta inverse is i1 i2 i3 i4 in the whole inverse and a sigma inverse is i1, i2, i3, i4, the whole inverse. But we know that the inverse of a transposition is itself. Therefore, you get this one as i1, i2, i3, i5, i1, i2, i3, i4, i1, i2, i3, i5, i1, i2, i3, i4. Now, what is this product? In this product, i1 is here it is goes to i1, i1 goes to i2, i2 goes to i2, i2 goes to i1, i1 goes to i1, i1 goes to i2, i2 goes to i2, and i2 goes to i1. That means i1 goes to i1. And in this i2 goes to i2, i2 goes to i1, i1 goes to i1, i1 goes to i2, i2 goes to i2, i2 goes to i1, i1 goes to i1, and i1 goes to i2. Therefore, i2 goes to i2. What about i3? i3 goes to i4, i4 goes to i4, i4 goes to i4, i4 goes to i4, i4 goes to i3, i3 goes to i3, i3 goes to i5, and i5 goes to i5. That means that i3 goes to i5. Now where does this i5 goes to? i5 goes to i5, i5 goes to i5, i5 goes to i3, i3 goes to i3, i3 goes to i4, i4 goes to i4, i4 goes to i4, and i4 goes to i4 therefore i5 goes to i4 what about i4 i4 goes to i3 i3 goes to i3 i3 goes to i5 i5 goes to i5 i5 goes to i5 i5 goes to i5 i5 goes to i3 and i3 goes to i3 therefore i4 goes to i3 therefore beta sigma beta inverse is equal to i3 i5 i4 which is a 3 cycle and since beta sigma beta inverse sigma inverse is in h i3, i5, i4 is also in h. That means h is a 3 cycle. So, we proved that 
what all be the cycle structure of sigma is whether it is a 3 cycle or a 5 cycle or a 2 2 cycle we can always construct a 3 cycle which is an element of h so we proved that h contains a 3 cycle now we show that h contains all the 3 cycles so here we show that in the uh, we shown that h contains a 3 cycle now we have to show that h contains all the 3 cycles let the cycle uh, 3 cycle which is in h is i1 i2 i3 and ijk be any 3 cycle if we can show that this ijk belongs to h and ijk this 3 cycle is a arbitrary 3 cycle so we can conclude that h contains all 3 cycles so let ijk be a arbitrary 3 cycle and i1 i2 i3 is a 3 cycle which is in h now because s5 is the set of all permutations on phi symbols we can always choose a sigma in s5 such that sigma takes i1 to i i2 to j and i3 to k so what is sigma into the three cycle i1 i2 i3 into sigma inverse which is same as sigma of i1 sigma of i2 sigma of i3 but you know that sigma of i1 is i, sigma of i2 is j and sigma of i3 is k. Therefore, sigma i1, i2, i3, j, sigma inverse is same as i, j, k. And now, if this sigma belongs to S5, so a sigma can be an odd permutation or an even permutation. So if sigma is an even permutation, then sigma is belongs to A5. And i1, i2, i3 is an H, sigma is in A5 and this one h is a normal subgroup therefore sigma i1 i2 i3 into sigma inverse definitely belongs to h therefore ijk belongs to h so if sigma is an even permutation ijk is belongs to h now what will happen if sigma is an odd permutation suppose sigma is an odd permutation that means sigma is a product of odd number of transpositions so in the Three cycle, I uh, we use the three cycle which is in H which contains three symbols, I, namely I1, I2, and I3. So we choose I4 and I5, which is not which is distant from I1, I2, I3. So and tau is equal to I4, I5, which is a transposition. Now sigma is an odd permutation, so it is a product of odd number of transposition. So sigma and tau is actually an product of even number of transposition that means sigma tau is an even permutation so sigma tau belongs to a5 because it's a even permutation on phi symbols now since h is normal in a5 and sigma is in sigma tau is in a5 and i1 i2 i3 is in h sigma tau into i1 i2 i3 into sigma tau inverse is in h now what is this product? Sigma to i1, i2, i3, sigma to inverse is same as sigma to of i1, sigma to of i2 and sigma to of i3. Which is same as sigma of to of i1, sigma of to of i2, sigma of to of i3. Now what is to of i1? To is i4, i5. That means to fixes i1, i2, i3. That means to of i1 is i1, to of i2 is i2 and to of i3 is i3. Therefore, this tau of i1 is i1, tau of i2 is i2, tau of i3 is i3. Therefore, sigma tau i1 i2 i3 into sigma tau inverse is same as sigma of i1, sigma of i2, sigma of i3. But sigma of i1 is i, sigma of i2 is j and sigma of i3 is k. Therefore, sigma tau i1 i2 i3 sigma tau inverse is equal to ijk. And since this one is an h, ijk is also belongs to h. Therefore, we have shown that whatever be sigma is sigma is even permutation or an odd permutation then this ijk is belongs to h since ijk is arbitrary h contains all three cycles so why we proved this we now show that every sigma in a5 can be expressed as a product of three cycles suppose we can show this that means that if sigma is an A5, it is a product of three cycles and we have just proved that 
H contains all three cycles. That means sigma is a product of elements of H. Therefore, sigma belongs to H. That means A phi is a subset of H. Therefore, A phi is equal to H. So, for showing H is equal to A phi, we need to show that every sigma in A phi can be expressed as a product of three cycles. Let sigma belongs to A phi. And therefore, sigma is an even permutation. So, that means what? Sigma is a product of even number of transpositions. So, let sigma is equal to sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3, etc., sigma 2k, where each sigma is a transposition and they are even in number. Now, we group this product into 2 by 2. That means sigma 1, sigma 2 is in one group, sigma 3, sigma 4 is in the another group, etc., Sigma 2k minus 1, sigma 2 is another group. That means sigma is equal to sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3, sigma 4, etc., etc. So now we consider each group. For example, we consider sigma 1, sigma 2. Sigma 1 is a transposition and sigma 2 is a transposition. There can be a chance that there may be some common symbol in sigma 1 and sigma 2 and there may not be a common symbol in sigma 1 and sigma 2. So let us consider the first case. Suppose sigma 1 and sigma 2 have a common symbol. Then sigma 1 is look like i1, i2 and sigma 2 look like i1, i3 because i1 is common in both, uh, both the tra uh, transpositions in sigma 1 and sigma 2. Now what is the product of this? i1 goes to i3 and i3 goes to i3 so i1 goes to i3. Now i3 goes to i1 and i1 goes to i2 so i3 goes to i2. No, I2 goes to I2 and I2 goes to I1. So, I2 goes to I1. So, this when one symbol, symbol is common in both sigma 1 and sigma 2, then sigma 1 into sigma 2 is a 3 cycle. Now, what will happen if sigma 1 and sigma 2 does not have any common symbol? Then, we show that sigma 1 into sigma 2 can be written as the product of 2, 3 cycle. Because, you can write Suppose the sigma 1 is i1, i2 and the sigma 2 is i3, i4, all of them are distance symbols, then we can write it as the product of two, three cycles. Because you can see that here i1 goes to i1, i1 goes to i2, so i1 goes to i2. Here i2 goes to i3 and i3 goes to i1, so i2 goes to i1. Here i3 goes to i4, i4 goes to i4, so i3 goes to i4. Here i4 goes to i2 and i2 goes to i3, so i4 goes to i3. Therefore, i1, i2, i3 into i2, i3, i4 is equal to i1, i2 into i3, i4. So, if you take sigma 1, sigma 2, vado bed heavy, if whether they are having a common symbol or not, we can try it sigma 1, sigma 2 either as a product of 2, 3 cycle or i1, i2, uh, sigma 1, sigma 2 is a 3 cycle. So, because you can try it, sigma as a product, sigma 1, sigma 2 as a group of 2, 2 transpositions at a time and each group is a product of 3 cycle or a 3 cycle. So, sigma you can write it as a product of 3 cycles. That means that hence sigma can be expressed as a product of 3 cycles. So, therefore, if any sigma belongs to A5 and if it's, we can write it as a product of 3 cycles, and H contains all three cycles, so every sigma in A5, you can write it as a product of three cycles, which is a product of elements of H, therefore, sigma belongs to H. That means A5 is a subset of H. Hence, H is equal to A5. So, we have proved that if H is a normal subgroup of H, then H is a normal subgroup of A5, then H is either trivial subgroup, which contains only identity permutation or H is equal to A5. Hence, A5 is a simple group. In the next session, we discuss about composition series of groups. Thank you.